Please welcome to the stage, valedictorian Mohammed Khan. Good afternoon, students, staff, family, and guests. It is my honor as the first ever valedictorian of Early College High School to be able to welcome all of you today. Five years ago in the eighth grade, we all took a chance to be part of the first class of ECHS so that we could earn an associate's degree and be ahead in our college studies. Ms. Burt came around to all of our middle schools with no staff, no building, and as she said, only one paperclip. Yet even still, all of us here took the chance to be part of something greater than ourselves and to sacrifice our regular high school experience. Some of us were the first in our families to graduate college, and my story is no different from these people. When I was five years old, my family took the journey across an entire ocean from my home country of Pakistan to the United States. My parents knew that in moving to this amazing country, we could live out the American dream and my siblings and I could receive an unparalleled education found nowhere else in the world. There are truly no words to express the gratitude that I have for my parents for sacrificing their career, livelihood, family, and culture to give my siblings and I a better life. <laughs> Even with all the sacrifice. Even with all the sacrifices my family and I have made to be successful in this country, we have been blessed with an Islamic community in my own neighborhood, and I am forever in debt to all the families who have guided and supported me throughout my journey. There they are. <laughs> this speech, however, is not about me. It is about the senior class as a whole. Originally, I wanted to write an uplifting and motivational speech about shooting for the stars or never giving up. But let's be real, we all knew Joshua Monroe would take care of that for me. <laughs> but with that being said, class of 2019, here is the shooting for the stars part of my speech. I ask that you look around, look at yourselves and think about all the adversities, challenges and struggles you have overcome to be where you are today. Now think about how you have grown from all of these obstacles and learned valuable life lessons and skills that will follow you for the rest of your adult life. I ask that in the future you cherish those moments in which you are challenged as they will allow you to grow as an individual. And I ask that you appreciate the people who support you through those moments whether they be teachers, friends, or most importantly, your family. High school is only a stepping stone for the rest of our lives. Please do not let high school be your last moment of success. I have seen firsthand what all of you are capable of doing, as I know that you have not only completed high school, but also two years of college. I urge you all to use your voice and your knowledge to empower other people. In a world of gun violence and others trying to dictate our future, we need leaders and scholars who will challenge the status quo to better not only our lives, but society as a whole. As C.S. Lewis once said, you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. So with your high school diploma in one hand and college degree in the other, march towards the rest of your lives knowing the greatness you were capable of. Though our high school experience may have started in a single hallway in the nursing building at CTC, we now not only have two separate campuses, but also soon to be high achieving alumni who will go on to conquer the world. In the words of Tony Stark in the recent Avengers movie, Part of the journey is the end. And though our high school journey may be coming to an end, 
I am absolutely positive that our academic and professional journeys will continue to allow us to prosper. Class of 2019, it has been an absolute pleasure to be with all of you the last four years. I love you all 3,000, and from the bottom of my heart, I wish you all the very best. Thank you.